Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and today we're going to be taking a look at a near-infrared flashlight. It's a 810 nanometer wavelength, and uh, we get it from AliExpress for only about $30. So let's test, test it out, see if it's legit, see if it gives us good performance. It's got a nice kind of thickness to it, a nice weight to it. Um, it's a single diode in here, and then it kind of spreads the light out, so I like that. Um, it's spreading the light out, unlike the Convoy we reviewed last time. You know, they're both single LEDs, but the Convoy's a much smaller kind of head, so that's why it could kind of heat up a little bit, on, especially on the max setting. All that power and intensity is funneled to a smaller point, um, so it's nice you can spread out that power into a wider area, you get more coverage, and you get lower intensity, so it's it's you know easier on your skin. Then the only challenge with this light is that there are three modes, we'll turn it on, and there are three modes, you can barely see the 810 glowing a little bit, um, but that's really important, because there are three modes, a low, medium, high, um, nothing fancy, no um, flashing or, or pulsing, um, but, you have to do a soft press like the other one to cycle through the different brightnesses. But because it's mostly invisible, you can't really tell the brightness. I kind of look, I, I aim it off to the side, and I can see a subtle difference in the brightnesses as I cycle through. And so you kind of have to calibrate your eye. Don't stare directly into it. You can aim it off to the side so you're not staring down a high intensity near infrared light. But anyway, that's the only kind of uh, complication I can see. Um, let's try to set this to the brightest setting and let's try to verify the wavelength. And so the wavelength looks a little high. 817.9 uh, the intensity at that short distance I just measured says it's about 150 you know that could be true because it's so close so yeah you know within that was like a half inch you know we get 171 milliwatts per centimeter squared and uh, we get peak around 817.9 so you know it's a little bit off from the target that 810 uh, ideal spot but anywhere between about you know 808 which is the laser frequency uh, 808 to about 830 that's a really optimal range for for near infrared wavelengths because that range gets the best penetration and it's close to a uh, cytochrome uh, absorption peak so anywhere you know i wouldn't complain about 817.9 so um, that's pretty good so as you can see, we've we've also upgraded our power meter. We've got a Thor Labs power meter. Uh, the model of the sensor is the S142CL. It's got the cosine corrected um, diffuser on the front, and it's also like you can see, it's a very wide opening, so that'll help us kind of capture as much light as we can. Um, so this should be kind of top top of the line uh, kind of measurement here. So. Okay, first thing we'll check, make sure our wavelength setting is right. So we're gonna set it to the 810 nanometer wavelength uh, because even for high quality optical power meters, there might be a sensitivity curve. So that's why the high quality ones, they let you enter this in and then adjust based on the spectral sensitivity of the sensor. Um, so all that's calibrated so you get as accurate as possible. And that's why solar power meters don't really work for specific wavelengths and LEDs like this because there's no adjustment, you know. So it has that sensitivity curve, but there's no adjustment for it. So that's why we had to build our own calculators based on lab measurements that you can find on our website. But otherwise, you know, the high quality ones will give you some sort of adjustment like this. So let's test. Uh, let's start with the highest power output and see what it says. So we're gonna put it right up towards the sensor, try to capture as much of that light as possible just to see how many milliwatts are coming out. And we get about 375 milliwatts because you know we move the decimal place for milliwatts. So 375, you know, that's pretty nice. You know, you, just like if you think about like a laser being 100 milliwatts, a couple hundred milliwatts, that's, that's a nice range. And again, unlike a laser, it's spread over a wide area. Um, so, you know, that's nice. It'll be um, pretty gentle for you. Um, so let's try, what are we on? All right, let's try the lowest setting. And we get about 73, 72. Depends where I'm kind of moving. 
So up around 73, so again, you know, that's a nice little low intensity you can use. Then the medium, we get around 200 milliwatts. So, you know, that's a nice, you know, equivalent to like a laser, but uh, like I said, it's a nice area. So, so that's it. That's the review for this unique fire flashlight. It actually came with this case. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Um, I don't recommend buying it with the battery. I re recommend getting the battery um, separately from, you know, I, I get it from a website, get a nice name brand because the batteries are, you know, what's important for quality and safety and things like that. Um, so I'll put the links where I get my batteries and chargers from um, you know that's the real investment the flashlights only 30 bucks it works great it could help a lot of people um, you know I just put it on my forehead a couple different points for 20 or 30 seconds per point and uh, do it around my sinuses you can do it on you know your sternum for systemic effects do it on the gut and on the tibia and you get a lot of systemic effects um, just with those things and you get full body benefits with just a flashlight and it's uh, you know around 810 you know 817 is not too bad um, to get that deep penetration and get those near infrared um, cytochromes activated um, so it's a good combination if you're trying to do com combined wavelengths get the convoy you know for the reds for the 660 um, to get those systemic activations and then you also follow up with the near infrared after so i usually do red first then near infrared that's what um one study on on parkinson's uh seem to prefer if you had to choose the order um, they do red and then near infrared um, so that's it that's the review uh, let us know what you think